Hi, I'm Amber Fields, Director of Secondary Career and College for TTSD. Hi, I'm Debbie Ebert, HR Director for TTSD. The pandemic has taught us a lot, and specific to today's conversation about transportation and our student schedule. As we begin planning to reopen schools, we worked in partnership with our transportation team to navigate the complicated structure around getting our students to school safely. During this process, we've discussed a lot of successes as well as challenges, both recent and historical. As we prepare to return in the fall, we reevaluated the challenges that existed, specifically bus arrival times that dropped kids off 45 to 60 minutes before class began, as well as students waiting 45 to 60 minutes after school was dismissed. Ultimately, the current K-12 bell schedule does not allow for any transportation improvements. We cannot fix the large chunk of time before and after school that our students are waiting for buses, and this isn't fair to our kids. While priority number one is improving transportation and reducing drop and pickup times for students, it also allows us to think about start times best for all students. According to research, secondary students should start at 8.30 a.m. or later. Currently, many of our high school students catch buses at 6.30 a.m., and some get dropped off as early as 7 o'clock a.m. to school. The pandemic has also taught us that our secondary students have really appreciated the later start time. And as we prepare for a full in-person return in the fall, we are proposing a new K-12 bell schedule that will address these issues and better serve our students. Our proposal for elementary students would be the school day starting at 8 a.m. and ending at 2.20 p.m. Staff contract time would be 7.30 to 3.30. Students would arrive on buses at 7.45 a.m. and head directly to class. This allows teachers to have 15 minutes of no student contact time prior to teaching, and that's per the current contract, but it also removes the current challenge of having to hold and manage students before school in our cafeterias and gyms. For middle school students, this day would start at 8.30 a.m. and end at 3.10 p.m. Staff contract time would be 7.30 to 3.30 p.m. Students would arrive on buses at 8.20 a.m. and head directly to class. This allows teachers 60 minutes in the morning before teaching, and most importantly, students will be picked up on time, as there is sufficient time for transportation between levels. You may notice start time, while a little earlier than the typical bell schedule, still aligns with best practice research. For our high school students, the school day would be 8.55 to 3.45 p.m. And you may notice again, this is a shorter school day because we shaved down some passing time. Staff contract time would be 7.30 to 3.50 or 7.55 to 3.55 or 8 to 4. This would be, ne would be negotiated with TTEA. Students would arrive on buses at 8.45 a.m. and head directly to class. This allows teachers approximately 60 minutes in the morning before teaching, and most importantly, students will no longer arrive an hour before class, catch buses at 6.30 a.m., and they'll begin school at a time that's best aligned to their development. Creekside Community High School and its staff and leadership have worked hard on a new schedule for students that would best meet their needs. The schedule and staff contract hours are currently being finalized in partnership with our association. Some of the early feedback we've received is how would this affect after school athletics and activities? For middle school, ASA is unaffected with this new schedule. For high school, students already miss a portion of their last period when in season, so this is not a major adjustment. In partnership with facilities and operations, any issues with field times and practices are solvable. We, as a community, and personally as a parent, recognize that this proposal may have impact to our personal schedules. As you offer your feedback and first thoughts of this pro proposal, we ask that you stay anchored in the improvements this will make for our students. And at this time, please click on the survey link provided and share your feedback. Your information will inform us as we finalize our plans alongside our associations. Thank you so much for your time and we look forward to reading your feedback.